Hey YouTube, it's that dude named Dave and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today's video, Corey Holcomb discusses Dave Chappelle. In this video here, Corey Holcomb's gonna discuss Dave Chappelle's monologue on Saturday Night Live and all the backlash that has been getting. So let's get to the video. We're gonna let Corey cook in. We're gonna try to make this make sense. Shit, man, my nigga Dave Chappelle killed it. Went on Saturday Night Live and they wasn't ready. Man, one of the coldest. That, that shouldn't just be a look monologue. That was a State of the Union address. Man, dog. I mean, Dave, look, bro. God damn, you fucked him up. And it's like, what is this? Um. What is this um mob that's against him called the defamation league or something like that it's one of them anti-defamation adl anti-defamation league you guys are losing your power as every day goes on mm -hmm. y'all motherfuckers try to save my man out of pocket for that monologue when the monologue was not only genius funny, it was necessary. Absolutely. He could get something like that almost weekly or monthly on, you know what I'm saying, topics and subjects. But I mean, news. yo, Dave, see, I know a little bit about Dave Chappelle's story. I know one of his managers slash agents. I know how they fucked him over. And I watch Dave Chappelle sometimes talk about some of the things that happened to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was like a perfect storm, a perfect moment, how they let him host Saturday Night Live. And of course, the wicked people in charge, some people call them the untouchables. I call them the bullshit a lot. <laughs> bullshit a lot. They have tried to put their fingers in the back of this man, and he still wind up hosting this show that they really field out people who can change your train of thought. Mm -hmm. That's what I call people like that. I think I'm the type of person, like when people watch me, they can be like, you know what? I didn't even know you could do that or say that. I'm gonna start thinking that way. That's what On that notion here, I wanna pause it here. What'd you guys think about Dave Chappelle's monologue on Saturday Night Live? If you have not seen it, I suggest you go ahead and check it out here. Yes, he's getting some backlash. The ADL has been screaming at him, but did you guys see an issue? Cause Corey is not. Now let's continue. That's what I think I am. And what he did on Saturday Night Live, I'm sure it made a lot of people be like, wow, yeah. yeah you get what I'm saying? Right, the way he did Yeah, he opened it up. Yeah. Man, he is opening eyes and ears. Yeah. Profound statements, Brother Chappelle. And these people, these defamation league motherfuckers, like, you motherfuckers have always been racist in disguise you you got on raincoats with white robes up under there you you've always been people who don't want the truth to be spoken if you speak the truth god damn it they take your voice away i got that from chuck d if you speak the truth they take your voice away so i salute my brother dave Chappelle for going on saturday night live and preaching, cause that's what he did to me. Somebody sent me the shit. I was like, what the fuck is somebody sent me this? What the fuck? Let me see what the fuck this is. I ain't know what the fuck it was. I'm like, you think it did my joke? <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. I be mean, jumping to conclusions sometimes, but I watched it and it was like, it made my day. And it made the my sketch, day. The sketch too, he was hilarious. I mean, they just, Yeah. he was having a good time. Yeah, um, uh, go on here and keep doing your thing, Brother mm -hmm. Chappelle, man. We we need shit like that, cause goddamn it, it's 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 like yo, man. I, I I don't understand how these people are bold enough in this day and time to think. I mean, because the internet gives us confidence, and um, actually, we we become more daring. 
with the things we see because we're we're you know we're numb to being afraid as we used to be at one time. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know how you guys think you're going to stop us from speaking the truth. I mean, I know you're in control of the internet. I know you're in control of the music. I know you're in control of what kids learn. Listen, man, in school, they are teaching the kids that it's not slavery. Those people came here looking for opportunity. That's what they're teaching the kids in school now. (laughs) They're trying to take slavery out and hide who they are. You are the worst. And if you if you feel guilty about what I'm saying, you gonna step up and claim it. You're the worst. You're the reason that people are. Let me tell you something, man. Black people and Indians were here, mm-hmm. and it wasn't war, war. It wasn't it wasn't pillaging and raping and all like that. Like how it was when you landed here. Because a lot of the youngsters don't know that. You landed here with war. And you got these things called defamation league? Are you fucking serious? Do you really want your history out there? Anti-defamation. I mean, you called it the anti-defamation league. That's what they call it. Defamation league. The fuck motherfucker. (laughs) The bullshit a lot. Y'all motherfuckers, your history on this planet is the reason we're all separated right now. Y'all the reason Darlene ain't got nobody. <laughs> if it was harmony in the world, Darlene would be happy, goddammit. I, now that I have to contest. They come, they that, come to cause confusion. That's what they doing. I am happy. If y'all would've never came here, Marcus, it would, you wouldn't even notice how much the year is because we'd still be naked. <laughs> <laughs> y'all had us wearing shirts and shit. Now Marcus get exposed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you yeah. thinking of what? Eh? <laughs> 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 nah, I'm just well, saying. Maybe man. that league can help Corey out. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe they, they can help, help me. Look at me. They can, maybe they can help his situation out. Yeah, yeah. he'll still be eating green grass, big cow. He won't be the, purple the rain. <laughs> he won't be following women. He won't be complaining every week about women. No, nah, Corey. Whoa, Corey whoa. Nah, they probably help Corey. He probably be hitting bitches with a club upside the head. I'm a them home. sex shooter, shooting up in your direction. Corey would have been a head butt king back in the day. He <laughs> <laughs> He's a proud trick. <laughs> Master of the head, but Lee. DJ, what am I? He's a proud trick. A proud, a proud trick. trick, right. How, how was you going to pay the bitches back in the day? What you going to do? I'm a sex shooter, shooting up in your direction. You'll be fucking bitches for a bag of cotton. you have a bag of cotton. I'm ready for some action. <laughs> well, I ain't had the trick when I was young. Boy, when I was young and functional. You probably would take. Boy, it. I was a bad man. Boy, I'm here to tell you. <laughs> boy, when my I, I ain't had to put medicine boy, you in your hair. You always been dysfunctional. Boy, I'm telling you, boy. Medicine I was, in your hair. Yeah. What you put medicine, medicine in your hair for? Well, that's what I call dye. That's medicine. Oh. <laughs> dye is medicine. That's kind of cute. It's how you put it in. What? What are you at, D? Oh, hold on. Show the it. people oh. what we get. Oh, we sold no out. No man, what are we doing? On that note, Corey's going to showcase some merch right now, so we're going to stop the video. What did you guys think about that monologue of Corey here regarding Dave Chappelle? If you guys have not seen Saturday Night Live yet, I suggest you go check it out. I did not see an issue with Dave Chappelle said, but for some reason, we have a certain group of people that I don't want to say, that I don't want to get in trouble, that people get upset when people tell jokes, that regarding comedy and how comedians do their craft here. So it seems like no matter the situation, whenever there is somebody want to talk about anything, there's going to be some group that wants to cast aspersions, even though comedians should have a different right here on stating what they're stating here, what they're, with their jokes and things of that nature. But what do you guys think? Is Corey wrong in, in his thinking here? What do you think about Dave Chappelle's monologue if you see it here? Comment, like, subscribe, and click on that bell notification below. I want to hear what you guys think here because Corey is a wild one here. Shout out to him and his 5150 show here because they're doing big things. But until next time, I'm that dude named Dave. See y'all later, YouTube world. <laughs>